This Ridley O sponsored by Keen Vention Yard Info. It's a Keen Convention, you'll have to go. Uh, look who, who I've spotted here. This is Robin Hood. So it looks like this car was saved from getting a ticket. And I'm noticing also you that. You know, at first I thought what you guys was doing, you know, was pretty nice, but now I think it's just rude and harassing. And I was like, I like the little notes you're leaving, but now you're just an irritation. And if you do not tilt that down, I'm going to break it. I'm going to break it. Wait. Another keen Thoritarian doing our work for us. Making Free Stater haters look bad. By being bad. He's also going to help me prove a point that uh, came up to me a couple days ago. An idea that popped into my head. You could think of New Hampshire as sort of a microcosm of the world in one way. Like the world, it has freer and less free areas. But this is a storm that is just about three minutes old. It's just going wild out there. You could say that now, as it was ten years ago, uh, Grafton is probably the freest place in the state, and Keene is roughly the least free. A lot of research went into naming Grafton as such. Uh, not so much has gone into naming Keene as the least free. But like the most and least free places in the world, they each attract their own kind of attention and activism. And in some ways, the most incredible things seem to happen in both places. Maybe I should say all four places. <laughs> uh, Keene and Grafton... And on the world stage, New Hampshire and the North Korea. Or you could say Hong Kong and North Korea, because I guess Hong Kong could be considered the freest place in the world. But I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb just a little bit and, and refer to New Hampshire as basically the freest place. It certainly has many freedoms that Hong Kong doesn't. I don't think any measurement has ever been taken of New Hampshire's freedoms in a social sense versus Hong Kong's social freedoms. Hong Kong only gets measured on economic terms, usually. But anyway, the one-party state of Keene sort of serves the same purpose in New Hampshire politics that the one-party state of uh, North Korea serves in the national scene. No North Korea constantly provides us a reminder of how bad things can get when the government is powerful. It's useful as a mobilizer for anti-communist forces. Its misbehavior helps create sometimes a freedom dialogue. And very little of what it does gets much support outside its own borders. Turn it off. Shut it off. I'm sorry? Sure, turn off the camera. Uh, That's ridiculous. Almost all the same things could be said for Keene in New Hampshire for the city of Keene anyway. It's true that there are many Keene residents who do not like free staters or free Keeners or activism or liberty or any of that. I'm saying under federal law, I have the right not to be recorded. Okay, if you show me that policy, I'll be more than happy to shut this off. I just told you what the federal law is. Now you've got two minutes to shut it off or I'm going to arrest you. But when they unite to attack, or even attack at all, <laughs> they seem to unite pretty much the rest of New Hampshire against them. And if you watch any of the coverage in New Hampshire media outside Keene, you know, of the Robin Hooders, the Robin Hooders get almost unanimous support from everyone in New Hampshire. <laughs> the only place that you'll see unhappy, angry uh, uh, treatment of the free Keeners tends to be on the Keene Sentinel's website, the uh, local pro-government paper. You'll see some of that on Freekeen, uh, Freekeen.com, too. And the Freekeeners, they're no geniuses when it comes to making friends. I mean, they, they do the hippie thing, it seems like. They go out there and don't really seem to care whether people like them or not and the way they comport themselves. And not all of them, but they're definitely a strong element of uh, non... I don't know how to put it. Non-popularity-increasing activism, I guess is what I would call it. In terms of the locals, right? But again, it doesn't matter when you're when you're watching from Portsmouth or Littleton. People just assume that the, the government of Keene is full of it. 
and then side with the activists. Not all people think that way, but it tends to be the the meme. <clears throat> I mean, when when uh, John McLean, or McLean, I don't know how to say his name, uh, the, the city manager denounces free keeners in some form or fashion. It's like Kim Jong Un, you know, denouncing the internet or something like that. No one takes him seriously. I mean, he is, after all, a city manager. How many of those even exist in New Hampshire? They're like a despised symbol of something terrible that happens in other states. It's like having a commissar, right? The original thinking of the early free staters was that it would be better to locate activists in the most pro-freedom parts of the state. And I do think that's true, but... The Free Keeners have proven that you can really make something out of nothing. I mean, Keen always has been kind of a lost cause politically, from a liberty standpoint. And yet, apparently, the government there just provides a useful foil. Kind of like the KKK is a good recruiter for the NAACP, right? And by the way, it has started to go that far in that direction. I mean, there have been people who have advocated, you know, Keen bureaucrats, apparently, who have advocated killing liberty activists in Keene. And, of course, you've seen my ever-increasing library of assaults and other nastiness that the Free Keeners have to endure. I just think it's interesting that such an authoritarian place has been able to... has had the effect of helping Free Staters so much. Helping them in their goal of achieving freedom for New Hampshire. This Ridley O sponsored by Keenvention.info. It's a keen convention, you'll have to go. Only 50 bucks held near the peak of leaf peeping season in a place that's fascinating even without its natural beauty. The purpose is to focus discussion on New Hampshire freedom activism. November 1st through the 3rd. Keen Convention Info. It's a keen convention. You'll have to go.